Hi, and welcome to episode 15 of the OEB Let's Play series on Oldbrook. <coughs> right then, I said uh, we'd be back once we got the slurrying underway. Well, I said manure. Turns out, uh, I checked the statistics, we don't have that much manure. This is after the wagon brought that load down. 30,000 is not going to do that field, so I've had to put him on slurry. So we're going to have to do a lot of slurry ferrying in a little while. And you can see the fast tracker uh, managed to find himself a hedge. Combine is stuck again. I did though manage to get into this field up at that corner there, coming straight out of field far. It's all it's gone a little crazy. Driving faster than he can turn. <laughs> Eighty percent, we're gonna have to do a little bit of rounding up ourselves here. Have the volume just creep up there. It's a very strange. It may be to do with the indoor sound LUA that's working on this fast track. Oh well. Hopefully it's bearable. It's definitely bearable in here because the indoor sound does work. couple of passes and it'll be fine. It's just getting this first headland out of the way. Ooh, this could be fun. Go for the outdoor view. <laughs> yeah, but after we got those first two headlands there wasn't a problem on field far. Even the fast track didn't manage to get himself stuck again. It's just a matter of getting these headlands out of the way, and then we're good. If that course plate would probably do a half decent job with the combine. Well, he's going to get stuck here. Does a hired worker on? Or has he just bugged out on me? No, it's the fast track I can hear. <laughs> Wrong engine. There we go. Leave him to his job. No, he'll be quite happily pottering about up there. Where is that fence? Ah, it's just dropped the piggies off. See, we're at 86,000. Slowly but surely, we are making our way towards the goal we need to buy the forage harvester. And after that, we can get the silaging operation really underway. But until then, you should be okay on this corner. It's the only corner that you will be okay on, because we've still got that one to go. After that, should be fine. I say should be. You're nice and quiet, you're nice and quiet. You're settled in there. You're running low on fuel, but you're getting the job done. So what we need to do then, is keep our eye on the fast track and the combine. I wonder how the slurry is going in field 4. Let's go have a little look at that actually while we're waiting. Yeah, he's still doing his headlands. It's so economic and good with the stuff is this trailer. I'm a big fan of it. The actual muck spreader itself was a pain, just of how it's been done. It's cool if you're driving, but not so cost player friendly. This, love this. This is brilliant. <laughs> One thing I haven't done yet though. He's got the uh, semi-trailer version of the Zunhammer ready. 
I may have a look at MR in that later on today. I'll do a bit of testing with it as well, make sure it does what we want it to do. Oh, that didn't work so well. No, no, we're good. So obviously, if it doesn't auto well overload like this one does, then it's no good for us. Pig to farm, close. Need to go the other way. Or should we go empty the cows first? Oh, we can do the cows on the road, can't we? It uh, automatically does it with the cows. Oh, we'll go clean out the pigs first. Crass art from pig. I am pretty sure that the latest pig. Whoa, 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 where are you going? Oh, that's not creative at all. Uh, seems to have it under control. 72,000. Oh dear. Oh dear. Right, reset the cars. Stop right there. Cast out from cow. In your transport mode. Thank you. It may as well just go and load this. I didn't realise it was full. At least I found out before I got all the way up the hill. That's if you'd even make it up the hill, because there's that tricky little hill just down the road there, isn't there? 72%, 17,000 litres of slurry on board. He could have uh, said no, thank you. Yeah, just made it up the climb. I think it's time that I put you on the other one. See twenty nine thousand plus twenty one. That's fifty thousand already. Just another hundred thousand to go, and that's just field nine and six. Demonstration of the high tip coming up. Ta da! Just makes life so much easier when they're loading. I use one in real life, and without it, I could not do the job I do with the machine I have. I'd have to have a lot bigger machine. We found that out recently when the, the high tip systems were playing up. So there's a pressure valve just under the front here where all the hydraulics are distributed and it was not allowing any pressure to build up to flip the bucket. The fitter came, swapped the pipes, well swapped the unit round so then it couldn't bring the bucket back. It was just to find out whether that was the problem. It was. Two days later we got it fixed. Right, reset cars. Joy of waiting for spare parts. <laughs> oh, the fence arrived again. Uh, yes, you are going to carry on taking the piggies. We are going to need. I'm still learning my way around this pig mod. It may be that if I left the piggies here. Hmm. You know what? Will this trailer stay there if I leave it? I'll go put it back in its shed. I'll see how much faster the manure builds up when the pigs build up. I'll run a little test. Why would the master be in traffic? Ah, because he's unloading. Cool to watch that actually. See if we can get back down there. No, missed it. Oh well. Right, you're going pig to farm. Oh, 
wrong trailer, you don't have a trailer. <laughs> that should do it. He's loading up. You've gone back to haha <laughs> if I can stop you there. Awesome. Still didn't unload it all. That must have filled up then. It can have done. I wonder what happened there. See if he can make this turn if he's gonna go a little bit uh, special. He's gonna go a bit special. Too special. So the reason it does that zigzagging is the steering on the truck. He's driving too fast to align himself properly. Steer it doesn't steer fast enough. If it had slowed down, it'd have picked it up. Maybe it's something uh, that will be appearing in a later version of Cars Play. Until they're actually on the route, they drive nice and slow. Hmm. Oh well. He's away. You're back in the field. You're here. Combine 95%. And nearly all the way back here. Wow. Did not expect that. I thought you'd have been stuck in the corner. Yeah, that's good news though. He didn't get stuck. But he's stuck now. Um, because he's full. How many litres does he have? Obviously I have logged out again. There we go. Forward slash. Change the load status. 12,000. Ooh, we're going to close that team. Ah, uh, about the Joskin trailer as well. It did have rear steer on it, it just wasn't quite strong enough. But I've learnt a little more about it there. Just up the settings a bit so it turns further and faster. You can actually see it working on corners now. I wonder if this combine is going to fall out of us because we just can't empty him. We're very close though. Look at that, 559 litres left in him. But it was not going to be happy with us. Are you going to be silly? You are. Nothing. <laughs> Forward match. There we go. And that's you happy. The only problem we might have is over in that corner because I'm going to put him on up and down as soon as he gets up to the way into the field. And he's just not quite in the right position. Is that the fast the vent flying through there? Yep. <laughs> it was flying as well. Yes, I know the matter should be refueled, so we're working on it. Well, where are you going? Well, that wasn't creative at all. There's not enough space to that kind of crazy, mate. Good effort on getting the last bits, like. Not quite the need for it. And you can see the straw piles from when I went round with uh, just the cedar and Mr. Power Harrowing. That won't be happening this time, we'll do a proper job. Now, is he going to be able to get past the fence? Or is the fence going to be in the way? It looks good. It's good. Just leave you stop there for now. 
Well, actually, how much fuel does the front have in it? I don't know, no trailer. This is a concern. How much have we used? Uh, only a little bit. Yeah, I wonder. I say only a little bit. We've had a fair whack out. Oh, oh no, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. Uh, hopefully that slipping is because he's up against the side of the shed. There we go. Container sinking, key V. Aha, that's how you sit it down. <laughs> so you do it from there. Well, that's good enough, but I still want to know how much is in it. That doesn't show up. Right, uh, quick, get up here before you do yourself some damage. See if you can actually get round now. Drain these little piggies. And hopefully this will top us up nicely to get the field slurried. Then I just have to worry about the next time. But at least I can do a very interesting overloader run with this trailer and the sprayer for field 21. That will end up being quite cool if it works as I'm intending it to. Obviously when we part the two together we can fill them, so it should overload. Should. And we can run it straight from the BGA as well because it's just next door. Ah, still 7,000 up there. Good, good. All wheel drive on. And disappear over here. And it should be able to let him take over now. How is he going to get silly? No, oh, he's good. He's just run out again. Combine, combine, combine. Needs to be on up and down. You. I'm so used to pressing the right mouse button to make it disappear. Right, need to go that way as well. So I turn left at the end, there we go. Away with you. Ooh, fast track's on his way too, look. Hee <laughs> hee. At least he's only going to peel off into the middle of the field. Sadly, that's the way the combine is going to want to turn next time. So it's worth watching this one to see just how it works out. It's not been a problem on the last field, so I'm assuming cosplay has a system in place. Isn't that just cool, though? Screenshot. Bring the hood back. Right, where is the fast track going to stop? Ah, a little bit of pathfinding, you see? It's <laughs> straight into the hedge. Oh dear. <laughs> a 
apparently the route he wanted to be then, the next waypoint, because he was going to end up waiting in the field, was at the other side of that hedge. Well out the way, no good to us. No combine in reach. Well, you've got to wait till the fill level. You'll be good for now. You're sneaking back, but you are getting really low on fuel. Hmm. I'm sure he was on 44 when he first took off from here. Well, that could be interesting, actually running out of fuel. I don't think I've done that yet. Good excuse to buy the swap body. <laughs> so when we get the truck done anyway. Where are you now? Ah, just coming in. We can start ferrying canola up to the freight yard. There we go, fill level, 110. She's going to take it to 134 then. That's the overloading part, isn't it? Not sure if the truck's revs have gone up. I don't think they have, have they? I'm assuming that's because it's a truck and not a tractor. I imagine the tractors would. I suppose it all depends on uh, how it powers itself. Right, so that's that done. Time for us to make a little money, I think. I'm going to spend time reversing this in when we don't need it. I'm just going to put it over here. Now that little bit there is where the pressure washer was intended to go. Actually we don't have one at the moment. But I may look into getting one. Right then. So it was the freight yard that was paying us the most money, wasn't it? Oops, too far. Canola 954. Oh yes. Now the mill is catching up. Uh, we've only got to have the truck running. It'll be interesting to see the MR engine at work. Separating the cell points. I, I believe it does do it. So even though we're going to be dropping canola off, it's only going to affect the freight yard. As long as we go into the right pipe, that will be a good start. Sell freight yard. I'll make the let's play a little bit more interesting as well. Look at the steering axle at work on this. <laughs> That's good. How much of this stuff do we have? Good, we don't need any in the seed bins anyway. Ooh, lots. It's interesting where the field plane rising. <laughs> Full uh, 43. Good, good. Right. Sheet her up. Long trailer. Load at start. There we go. Covers, automatic. I wonder, because it was on transfer, wasn't it? There we go. Aha! <laughs> he does sheet up on his own, and he's not happy about being told otherwise. <laughs> right, then let's uh, check out the massive situation. 
Uh, I'm going to hazard a guess and say that's done. So I'm not in the mood for wasting this stuff. the good stuff mate. Sorry but that's not happening. Now that is a shame it's uh, the way Carsplay has done that last row. have to bear that in mind. I don't suppose it would use too much but it would use enough. More than I'm happy to lose anyway. Good gold. Right, how are you down? Gonna see how the combine is. Oh dear. How have you? Oh, because it had that little lip on the corner. Oh, that's annoying. So it should be okay once we get this part out of the way. Uh, just check to see which way he's on. Yes, 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 go. Oh, God, what was the button to secure it? That one? No. That one? No. That one? That one. There we go. Open square brackets. And alt. I have to keep remembering all the keys. <laughs> right, 26 minutes in, so it's a quite a successful little couple of episodes these two. Just focusing on the harvest, getting a bit of slurry down. See now that field is ready for turning over and I said I was going to plough didn't I? So plough it is. do we have? There's the one I like the look of. The Rabe. It just looks like a cool little plough. This one's obviously a lot bigger. But I like the look of this one. It's got a particle system on it too which is nice. So yes we're going to have that. That's took us away from victory though. Or oh, has it? I think the Fent is definitely the ploughing machine. So reset the course. Farm to shop. He'll let us know when he gets there. And then we can uh, have a look at our new plough. Ooh, just not in the right place, look. Stop you there. Move you forwards. There we go. Now this should make us a small fortune. Boom. Forage harvester. <laughs> Dive cast nearest waypoint. Yes. Continue on. Head for home. What was that? I think we're down in the 70s. 20 some, 25 some. And that's the first load from the first field. Obviously you don't get a great yield, but I'll take it. It's good money. Thank you, just wandering around. I don't know where you're at. That's the field we're currently harvesting. Oof, look at that little leg on the end there. Ah, it's not going to be a problem. He's going uh, lengthways now, isn't he? Right, you're stood now because nothing's going on. So we're going to do some ploughing. So I'll do a little bit of ploughing, let him finish off camera. I wonder, no, it wouldn't be possible. I don't think cosplay works with hireable tools. Or we could have two running on the same field. That would be quite cool to watch. <laughs> but no, it's not going to happen, I'm afraid. Oh well. We'll cosplay the field to the plough anyway. Uh, to 
So there's so much going on. It's nice and quiet in the yard. All the birds tweeting. And obviously the good old rooster. Doing his thing. Annoying everybody. Right, you're happily there. You're working fine now. You're just about to get where we need to be. Uh, I'm carrying 105 eggs there, so I'll be jumping out. You see the plough just through the trees there. So let's see how much. 850 some. Ooh, nice. Say hello to our little friend. New toy, new toy. And this is only a five thorough, but I like the fact it's trailered. Or oh, semi mounted. Semi mounted reversible. It does have a lovely particle system on it. It's just a nice little plow. I really like it. So, yep. This is going to be the weapon of choice. What about the dirt system on it? Oh well, not too worried. Obviously the tractor doesn't have the because it was running on dust wheels. I'll uh, be using this, the same one that's on the Massey Ferguson for the mall in the end. Just got to get there with it. Shop to farm. Did you just do what I think you just do? You did, you s yeah. Not your finest hour. There you go. Good, good, you're back. Stop. Just enough for another one. So that'll buy us our forage harvester and give us some cover money. 32 minutes, let's go by. Woohoo, toys, toys, toys. All the way down at the bottom. There you are. I'll have one of them. And I'll have one of them. The only way we're going to get to this is by tabbing. Here we go. It's dirty, it's filthy, it's lovely. It looks like it's seen work, which suits us because we don't have that much money. Obviously a brand new one of these is well into the hundred thousands, if not the twos. So we got it for 80. So the proof is actually just in here, isn't it? There we go. 400,000 for the brand new crown. And that's not the MR one either. That one, the big X1100 is well over. 370 for the MR one. Yeah, I think we've got a bargain. Just have to put him in a group. Which group should we go for? He is a combine. So I presume he belongs with the other combine. Oh. Oof. Ooh, engine sounds. Oh, that is nice. <laughs> yes, I am a fan. All folded up. I'll pop up the F1 menu and uh, show you a couple of tricks. Obviously, we can lower it down. I've got it set a little bit higher than the usual one. So, if it hits a hill or comes across a hill, it'll just sail over it without causing too many problems. Now, as best as I can tell, this is just a reskinned vanilla game head just obviously the dirty yellow on it but when I got my hands on it the sp spikes tines didn't work they do now it was a scroll shader UV scroll shader that was out so 
So yeah, it looks mean now. Not sure if I've put a particle system on it. But I may go looking for one of those. But yeah, works very well. I'm very happy with her. Now, the challenge. Will she work on cosplay? Obviously it's rear steer. Shock to fan. I wonder, I'm curious. I just want to know. Can cosplay drive this? Not when I set it up like that. I didn't really give it much of a chance, did I? <laughs> oh, that was cool. Right then, she is heavy on the front end. I do believe it actually came with a weight. I may have turned the weight off. That was a silly thing to do. But I will let. Uh, now it's MR and I can use a real ballast script, so I'm not done with that yet. There will be a big weight popping up just here by next episode. Now, can cars play drive it? Off to a good start. If it keeps it nice slow speed, it'll do it fine. But if it tries to get clever, it won't. There we go. Trying to get clever from recording. No, 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 no. Slow it down. Slow it down. If you're a big heavy vehicle. You should not be doing anything at speed. way cosplay is going to be driving you, you definitely don't need to do anything at speed. You know what? Twirls too fast. Ah, that's why you're causing me problems. Fast track loud in the ears. Probably should get this guy some fuel. Because he's going to be out in the field with this little plough for a long time. <laughs> Are we going to get in the trigger? Yes, there we go. Where are we up to now then? Oh, I did need to be in prices. The next great demand I believe is barley. Starts in one day, two hours. And there's one after that as well. Farm shop and the inn. Ooh. If only we weren't ploughing, we'd maybe make them. But ploughing is quite important for us to know. Just to make sure we get some uh, nice fertile soil again and a good roof. the compaction issues of having the big combine and the tractors flying all over the field. I don't believe there is a mod out there which takes it all into account. But you never know. Maybe for 2015. Now I wonder what the working width is going to be on this plough. I'm imagining very small. Will unfold. Uh, v, no, V's lower. B, that's uh, the flip. Right then, so field work. 0.8. Wow, that's no good to us. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to try and guesstimate this one out of. Could be about three meters then. This is where the old auto tractor would uh, help us out. This is the offset as well. Ooh, this is going to be fun. Hmm. Haha, 
Got it. That's the one we're after. There we go. So we can go up for three meters to like five. That's too big now, isn't it? Back down to three. We'll leave it at three meters. Three meters is the one. Tool offset horizontal. Put that there. No cost of copy. Right, field edge path, field four, working with three meters, starting northwest, heading east, no many as possible. <laughs> F four plow. I took more time saving than it did planning the cars. <laughs> right then. You need to find the first point here. Fills up quickly. Aha! It's up against the heads, look over there. So spin you around. Let's see how you manage this. Are you really going to go that way? Oh dear, the particle systems have uh, gone a little special, haven't they? Oh, that's a shame. I wonder if that's to do with cosplay or a fault with the plough. Hmm. Come on, work with me here. There you go. Now, did you see that? No, 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 no. That was quite interesting. I wonder. It was how cosplay started off. Interesting. So I pressed the B button to hold the plough, the other well, uh, rotate the plough, it went up to the middle and came back down this way. Very interesting. I wonder if it shouldn't be the other way. It is ploughing into the field. Most of the ploughed land should be on the right here. And we're pretending it's on the left, which means it's the wrong way. Stop, 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 stop. I'm going to have to remember that one, aren't I? Yes, because when he starts going up and down, that's the way it needs to be. Right, may have just saved our bacon there. Just got to worry about that tool offset business now. Because that's only left while it rotates it. This could be fun. Hmm. We'll see how this works out for us. How's everybody else doing before we disappear? Obviously he's okay, you're happily chilling out. Ooh, he's arrived. Oh, -ho. nice and slow. Job done. Stop driver. Big challenge, sending him up the climb. Because you will be living at the pig farm, my friend. Odds of you getting back down here again are very slim. But you never know. Depends what we need more of. Harvested corn or silage. <laughs> but yep, yeah, on that note, I'll call it an episode. I will get the rest of the fields harvested, get the barley sown in, 
sell the rest of the canola. I'll send him on his way in a moment. And we will see you all in time. Well, yeah, for the barley harvest. Maybe just before. Right, well, thanks very much for watching episode 15. Hope you've all enjoyed it. I'll catch you next time. Bye.